Welcome to another episode of the Multifamily Collective. Let's talk about Notebook LM. If you haven't heard about this yet, uh, I'm not exactly sure how old uh, or how new Notebook LM is to the marketplace. I picked it up uh, through a newsletter called Notorious something, Notorious B.I.G. I I think I feel like that's a rap singer from many, many years ago. But the, oh, I can't remember the newsletter. I'll try to find it and I'll link it up. Anyway, I learned about it. Let's say a week ago, maybe let's say 10 business days ago, plus minus, uh, because I played with it uh, all throughout the week last week. But the big punchline for this particular technology is that it can take, if you if you have a P- PDF document, for example, let's say it's a MIT research report or a strategy plus business article that's pretty lengthy and you turn it into a PDF and you feed it into Notebook LM, Notebook LM will take that research. And, and by the way, maybe you put you can put like five or six PDFs in late, uh, you know, on a topic that is related uh, that comes from different viewpoints based on organizations or people or angles that they're writing from. You put it in there. It does an analysis of all, and then it gives you sort of this synopsis of the article, article or an executive brief, and then you can ask it all kinds of questions, and it will seek information out of those data sources. The punchline is that it will actually turn that information into a podcast that sounds very real. I Somebody sent me something over the weekend, a dear friend of mine, you know, that it was it is the coolest thing since sliced bread, and it is. It's a very cool technology, and I, I wholeheartedly agree with that. And in playing with it, it's very powerful, and it helps you accelerate the pace of research. Uh, I think that's the big punchline for me, is it accelerates the rate, the, the rate of research, and helping you get the punchlines and various things, not unlike ChatGPT, but this is sort of this compare and contrast analysis that's very powerful. It turns all that into a podcast that has this sort of synthetic host vibe to it. It's the one I listened to recently was uh, a man and a woman. Is a Kevin Rose podcast. I'll try to link it up in the show notes if I remember, but it was a, f- a female and a male They're having a conversation. They're going back and forth at, as it relates to some data that he had fed into the Notebook LM. Um, now, in all fairness, I listened to it at two times speed because of an Apple podcast, two times speed, and it sounded very canned to me. It didn't sound like, it sounded like humans for sure, but it it sounded just by way of example, let's say the female made a point, the male was compelled to make a counterpoint or you know a supporting point to that point, and then they would do another thing. And then it was counterpoint, counterpoint, counterpoint. Anyway, they're, they reacted to every single thing that that they talked about. Whereas in a human conversation, we might react to a point and then we might let another point go. And then we would react to a point or maybe let two points go by before we react to a point. And so it wasn't, it didn't flow well in that respect. The point that I'm getting to is that I think a human's BS meter will see that very quickly. They'll understand what a, what an AI driven uh, podcast conversation will sound like, just like they notice Um, A lot of people online and LinkedIn make fun of AI, people who use AI uh, to generate content without editing it at all. They just put it out there. It is, uh, it's interesting that we all make fun of each other as it relates to that kind of stuff, but we probably do use the technology as well. So anyway, the the point that I'm getting to is that I think this Notebook LM is a very powerful resource. Um, It's definitely something you should play around with if you haven't yet. I think it is a Google product. Um, in fact, I'm sure it's a Google product, but, uh, notebook LM is the name. Definitely get out there, do some experimentation. I think to get good at anything, you have to become a practitioner of it. And this is one of those examples where you just got to get in there and play around with notebook LM and see the power of it. Um, but definitely, I'd definitely love to hear your thoughts as it relates to the podcast version. It's, it's not a criticism. I just don't think the technology is there yet that, uh, that it would fake a human out. Now it will be. I'm quite certain of it. Uh, there'll come a point where it's powerful enough to, you won't know the difference. But uh, anyway, that being said, take care. We'll talk to you again soon.